it's Huff, I am back again. This is going to be a collab video with Beauty Blabs and Collabs. Uh, Connie decided that she needed to do something while she was a week off school for spring break or whatever the heck they call it in America. Uh, it's kind of... Except it would still be winter there, wouldn't it? I don't know. School's on a break. She works at a school. Anyway. So, she asked who would be interested in doing a collab this week, and I thought, well, okay, I can do that. Um, sorry if I look a bit of a hot mess. I'm not having a good makeup day today. Um, and also need to film this relatively quickly so I can go and pick my daughter up from school. We are doing the 40 beauty questions tag. I have the questions on my phone, so if I keep on looking down, that is what. Into it. The first section is on skincare. Um, I'm not going to show you any products, I'm just going to answer the questions. <laughs> so, I'm sorry. Uh, how many times do you wash your face daily? If I'm being a good girl, I wash my face twice. Uh, usually, um, I do my major wash at night before I go to bed. Like if I have a shower, I wash my face in the shower with a proper cleanser, etc. Um, in the morning, I tend to just use a micellar solution. Um, just to clean off the the night's efforts. Um, what the next one is? What skin type do you have? I have combination skin. It's pretty normal most of the place, but I do have a slightly oily T section. It's not very oily. It's just a little bit oily. You can mainly tell that by the amount of pore pores I have. Like I have fairly visible pores if you look at my face quite closely. Um, sometimes I get a bit dry down around here. So I really do have combination skin. It kind of goes the whole gamut of different skins. But it's basically pretty normal most of the time. Next question is what is your current facial wash? In my shower at the moment I believe I have a... I think it's a Nivea for acne prone skin face wash. I actually don't know. Um, <laughs> it's just a cream to foam type cleanser. I prefer a foamy type cleanser. Um, it's one of those ones when you rub it together it starts foamy. Um, yeah. <laughs> can't believe I can't remember what it's called. Anyway. Um, the next question is do you exfoliate? And it's followed by the question what brand do you use? At the moment Yes, I do exfoliate. At the moment, what I'm using is a, an exfoliator. Actually, I can show you it. From Clarice, the Sea Salt Solution Rapid Detox Charcoal Exfoliant. Just happens to be in front of me because it is actually in a project. Um, you can either use this on its own with a little bit of water, or what I do is I put it in with my uh, cleanser, and then I exfoliate that way. Um, yeah, that's generally what I do. Uh, what moisturiser do you use? It depends on whether it's morning or night. If it's night, at the moment I am using a Lacura brand, which is an Audi brand, um, night cream. And at the moment, during the day, I am using this Ombra, which again is from Audi's um, Daily Defence. So much for not showing you any projects. <laughs> so much for not showing you any products. Uh, the next question is, do you have freckles? Yes, I do. I'm a redhead. Underneath all of this, I am actually a redhead and I am covered in freckles. Do you use an eye cream? Yes, I do. At the moment, I am using one from Natural Instinct during the day. And um, I'm using this one little sample thing at the moment at night. This is from Germaine de Cappuccini. Uh, it's their night mask puffiness eye cream. Um, I don't have much left of that. The next question is, do you or did you have acne prone skin? At school, I did not. As a teenager, I barely ever got a pimple. It wasn't actually until I had children that I started getting acne. Um, and now I get acne on a fairly regular basis, usually around about the time I get my period. Um, next question, did you ever use Proactive? No, I did not. Never, ever, ever. The next section that we're moving on to is about makeup. Uh, first question is what foundation do you use? At the moment I am using CoverGirl True Blend. Not too keen on it, quite frankly. 
Not my favourite. Um, yeah. Me and foundation are not good friends. Uh, how about concealer? At the moment I'm using Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in 15 Fair, which I actually really, really like. Do you know your undertone colour? Yes, I am cool undertoned, uh, which one can tell by the fact that my veins are blue. Uh, if they were green, that would mean I was warm. There you go. Uh, next question, what do you think of fake eyelashes? I like the premise of them. I like the idea of them. I am not very good at applying them. I'm getting better. Um, but yeah, a lot of the time it's the glue that's actually the issue, I think. Could just be user error. Next question. Did you know that you're supposed to change your mascara every three months? Yes, I did know that. Doesn't mean I do it, but I did know that. Uh, what brand of mascara do you use? The mascaras I'm currently using is the CoverGirl Plum Crusher. Um, and I have just ditched the black mascara, because that one's a black brown. Um, I've just ditched the black mascara I was using because it's freaking awful. It's like, it, it still doesn't feel dry like three hours after putting it on. Um, and that's a So Susan Flutter mascara. So I am not actually don't actually have a black mascara on the go at the moment. I'll have to like dig one out of my collection. Um, Sephora or MAC? Uh, neither. Um, MAC in Australia is pretty expensive and Sephora where I live is only online. I've bought once from Sephora. And it was, you know, a pretty good experience, but it's not somewhere that I would shop regularly. Um, and MAC I have bought from once as well in the city. Again, not somewhere I would generally shop. Uh, do you have a MAC Pro Card? Nope. What makeup application tool do you use in makeup app tools do you use in makeup application? Sponges, brushes, my fingers, it depends on what product I'm using and the best way for it to apply usually with my foundation and my concealer I will use a sponge currently I'm using the Real Techniques Miracle complexion sponge um, eyeshadow I tend to use brushes the majority of the time I tend to use my fingers to apply things like eye primer um, and uh, cream eye bases um, yeah it, it depends on the, the product more than anything else Next question, do you use makeup base or primer for eyes? Well, clearly I do. Um, I'm working through a whole bunch of different eye primers at the moment because I keep finding ones that I really don't like very much. Um, yeah, I'm currently using, I think it's a designer brands one, and it's okay. I, it's not great though. If, um, if I get like moisture on my eyes it certainly doesn't help with that um, I end up with smudges everywhere <laughs> it's, it's not fun um, and the a makeup base or primer for the face yes I do um, I have been using a miracle one which uh, a mineral one sorry um, which I'm not really sure I like very much it's okay but it's I really need a pore filling one um, I actually used today for the first time I used this L'Oreal base magic and I actually quite liked it so um, yeah and I've tried the benefit professional a couple of times and I didn't really like it um, but I will see how I go I haven't used it enough to decide yet um, next question, what is your favourite eyeshadow colour or shade? Uh, I don't really have a favourite colour. I will use any colour at least once. Um, I like to experiment with colours. I tend to put a neutral colour through the crease area and then put a colour of some variety on the lid. Um, I tend to err towards like greens and blues at the moment. Um, today I'm actually wearing orange, not that it's really showing up properly. Pretty terrible orange, quite frankly. Um, purple, quite often. I don't really have a favourite. Uh, do you use pencil or liquid eyeliner? I tend to use pencil on the lower lash line um, and to tight line with and then use a liquid on the upper lash line. 
Um, how often do you poke your eyes with an eyeliner pencil? More often than I care to admit, quite frankly. It's usually when I'm tight lining, um, I will poke myself at least once. What do you think of pigment eyeshadows? Um, I think they're fine. I'm, I don't use them a lot. I'm trying to get into them more. Um, they do tend to pack a lot more colour which tends to be good, but I personally, if I was going to use a pigment eyeshadow, I'd rather it be a pressed pigment than a loose pigment. Um, do you use mineral makeup? Um, I do have some mineral makeup. It's not my favourite. Uh, the eyeshadows are fine, and the highlighter I've got, and actually I'm wearing a mineral blush today, is fine. Um, I haven't had much luck with mineral foundations as such, so, yeah... But to me, makeup is makeup, and different products work differently for different functions. Uh, what is your favourite lipstick? I don't actually have one. I, I have so much lipstick, it's impossible to pick an actual favourite. Um, quite frankly, I'd rather just wear a lip balm most of the time, <laughs> even though I really like a bright, dark, a bright or a dark lipstick as opposed to a neutral lipstick. Don't do neutrals very often. Uh, how about lip gloss? I don't mind lip gloss. I have to admit, I do use lip gloss fairly regularly, like I'm wearing lip gloss today. Um, I prefer one that's like the one I'm wearing today, which is not particularly sticky, but it, it it's it's nice enough kind of thing. Um, my hair's not so long at the moment that when the wind blows that my hair sticks to my lip, which is the worst thing about lip gloss. Um, but I don't particularly like the matte look, so if I do have like a matte lipstick, I would generally put a lip gloss on top of it. Uh, what is your favourite blush to use? Again, I really don't have a favourite. I have so many of them. It might be because I don't wear makeup every single day that I haven't developed favourites, but there's just so much option that it's impossible to find a favourite, quite frankly. Do you buy your makeup on eBay? Uh, no, I have not bought makeup on eBay. Uh, do you like drugstore makeup? Yes. That tends to be the majority of the makeup that I use and wear on a regular basis. Mainly because I don't have enough money to be buying high-end stuff. <laughs> uh, do you go to CCO's cosmetic company outlets? I don't have any nearby me, and if I did, I would. Quite honestly, I would. Uh, did you ever consider taking makeup classes? Well, I actually studied uh, beauty services, and part of beauty services is makeup application. So we spent about 12 weeks, is it 12 weeks or 9 weeks, something like that, um, applying makeup a couple of times a week. So I, I kind of did take makeup classes. Uh, are you clumsy in putting on makeup? It depends on the day. Some days it doesn't matter what you do, nothing goes right. Today was one of those days. Name a makeup crime that you hate. Mm. Um. I'm trying to decide which one I hate most. I really dislike very dark eyebrows that are overly shaped, like they look like you grabbed a sharpie and drew in your eyebrows, that kind of, that drawn in eyebrow look. I don't mind a drawn in eyebrow that is done really, really well and looks fairly natural, or is meant to not look natural, like, you know, bright green eyebrows or something. But the, the ones that just, they look like you use the Sharpie. I really don't like those. The other thing I really don't like is, particularly on older women, I'm not saying that you can't do it, it's just not very attractive, is when they get a black eyeliner and they just do a thick line underneath their lower eyeliner. Eyeline. And kind of what I want to do is I want to walk up to them. So if you want to use black eyeliner, that's fine. But put it on thinner and then just smudge it a little tiny bit and it will look so much better than this really harsh black line under your eyes. Just, just saying. Uh, do you like colourful shades of makeup, lipstick, eyeshadow or neutral ones? I prefer bright colours, quite frankly. Um, I really don't, other than eyeshadow, 
don't really like neutral stuff too much. Uh, which celebrity always has great makeup? Well, here's the thing. I am not really a celebrity watcher. I don't tend to... Um, I don't read magazines very much. I don't watch a lot of television. I don't watch award shows. Um, so there's no person that I look at and think, geez, your makeup is good all the time kind of thing. Though I do like the kind of stuff that Katy Perry pulls out occasionally, that kind of like bright, colourful kind of look. Um, generally speaking, I like the kind of makeup that drag queens do. I was really impressed by drag queens, like Miss Fame. She always like, every time I see Miss Fame, I'm just like, holy shit. Uh, if you could leave the house using just one makeup item, what would you use? Moisturizer with sunscreen in it. And that's not technically makeup, but that would be my choice. Or a lip balm with SPF in it. Um, yeah. Because uh, the next question, I, I'll answer the next question, which is, could you ever leave the house without any makeup on? Do it all the time. <laughs> I go shopping without makeup on. I, I go out and see people without makeup on. Some days I wear makeup, some days I don't. Do you think you look good even without any makeup on? Some days, yes, I think I look great. Other days, uh, if I'm having a bad skin day, like I'm really pimply or like, or I've had a reaction to something, then not so much. Although my partner will tell you that I look fabulous all the time, but you know, he's biased, he has to say that. In your opinion, uh, second to last question, in your opinion, what is the best makeup line? That's a tricky question. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Honestly, I have no idea. <laughs> I like a lot of makeup brands, and I don't like a lot of makeup brands. It would almost be easier to ask me which makeup brands I don't particularly like, like designer brands, because um, I haven't had much success with them. But on the whole, I like most makeup brands that I've actually tried. Sometimes there are products in a line that I really just can't stand, but um, yeah, I don't actually uh, consider any particular line the best makeup line and I also don't have a lot of high-end stuff so I don't think it's fair for me to say that you know like Kat Von D is the best or Urban Decay or any of that because I have such a limited amount of high-end stuff that I can't really say that the whole line's good. And the last question is what do you think of makeup? I love it. It's it's expressive, it's creative, it's fun. When it's not fun, it's it's, it's horrible, but um, yeah. <laughs> but it, it's a fabulous thing. And I think if you want to wear makeup, go ahead. If you don't want to wear makeup, go ahead, whatever. Um, but don't put people down who do want to wear makeup because it's, it's the, their way of expressing themselves. It's like getting your hair done a weird colour or a normal colour or you know, getting your nails done or wearing particular types of clothes. It's about how you express who you are as a person and makeup is just another way of expressing yourself. So I think it's fabulous. I think it's a wonderful thing. And I think on the whole, like the makeup community is a wonderful thing. I've met lots of really, really nice people who I consider very good friends now. Um, quite a few of those have moved away from being like beauty related channels but they're still wonderful people that I met because of being involved with makeup so much and I love the way that makeup can make you feel and like people who have um, things like cancer and they've lost all their hair and being able to you know seeing how they react to having their makeup done so that the things that they don't like about themselves or the things that make them feel less womanly or human 
uh, return to them like having eyebrows again and having you know, their eyelashes visible, usually by the use of fake eyelashes. But all of those things that change because of illness or whatever, you give them an opportunity to feel beautiful. And it doesn't mean you have to go on the full-on glam look, just a little bit of colour here and there can make such a big difference. And I, I know for my grandmother, she used to wear powder and lipstick, if nothing else. Every time she went out, she put on some powder, she put on some lipstick, and it, it became such a part of who she was that it was more noticeable when she stopped doing it because she was so sick. And in hindsight, I wish I could have gone back and just given that to her in like those last few days um, to make her feel pretty, even if just for a little while. So I think that's what makeup does, is it, it, it can give you something that you may feel that you're missing. And you know, maybe you shouldn't feel like you're missing it, but a lot of people do have self-esteem issues and do have very bad self-image and being able to make them see that they are really a beautiful human is uh, an amazing thing to be able to actually do. And our society is so based on how, you're actually, how you look, how you visually come across to other people, that having the tools to actually help yourself or help other people at least feel like they kind of maybe are acceptable in society's eyes is, is a good thing. Um, I wish it didn't have to be that way, but you know, the, real as the realistic aspect of life is that how you visually present yourself is actually very important, particularly if you want to get a job or you want to be viewed in a particular way. And whilst it shouldn't, you shouldn't have to put on makeup to do that, you should just be able to put on makeup because you want to, makeup is a way for people to get closer to these ridiculous standards that society has placed, particularly on women. So I hope that made sense. That was kind of rambly. Uh, I'm in one of those moods today. Anyway, that was the 40 beauty questions tag that I have done in collab with Beauty Blabs and Collabs. All of the ladies doing this will be linked down below as well as the Facebook group if you're interested in joining the Facebook group. If you want to see more of my stuff, then click the subscribe button down there. Click the little bell next to it so you get notified of when I upload new videos. Leave me a thumbs up if you like tag type videos and beauty type videos. And leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments. And I'll see you in my next video. See ya.